I guess we will say uh, welcome to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2020 for the high school public service. Um, those who don't know me, I'm Jason Zanish. I'm the 12th grade English teacher and I'll be the host um, today. I really appreciate your patience as we go through things. I'll be juggling a lot of technical things over the course of this. Um, I'm going to ask the the panelists, the graduates and, and staff who are on panelists to please make sure your microphone is muted until I call everybody to, so I don't have to just keep going and mute all, mute all, mute all. Um, so to start things off, would like to share a video with a singing of the national anthem and the black national anthem, lift every voice and sing as performed by graduating senior, Mahela Blair. So give me a moment as I share. And I get my glasses. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bones bursting in air came through through the night that our flag was still Sing of 
a song full of the faith that the door pass has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of a new day begun. Let us march on till victory is won. Right, if we could hear it for Michaela Blair. Amazing, awesome job. Fabulous. Um, so today we welcome everyone, um, including the 225 people watching on YouTube live right now. Um, so we're here to celebrate the class of 2020 and acknowledge this important transition um, in their lives. Uh, this was definitely an eventful tenure at HSBS over the last four years. Um, and I, I think I can speak with every, for everyone saying that this is not how we envisioned things being here at the end. So in spite of that, we're here to celebrate overcoming challenges, achieving great things, and to celebrate. So honored guests to start things off, our esteemed principal, Mr. Sean Rice. Good afternoon, HSPS staff, parents, extended family, and of course, the amazing, gritty, and talented graduating class of 2020. Although each graduating class is very different, during graduation ceremonies, we find ourselves offering typical messages, like how proud we are of you, how we recognize your special gifts, and that we wish you all the luck in the world. We offer statements conveying how the world is limitless and how you can go as far as you want in life. For many reasons, this time coming together feels a little different. Don't get me wrong. Everyone who's had the pleasure of working with the class of 2020 indeed recognizes the amazing and powerful strengths of our graduates. And yes, you have a wide open path and blank canvas on which to pursue and paint your own realities and personal fates. But you, the class of 2020, deserve to hear different sentiments. You deserve to hear how you succeeded in completing high school as no one before you has ever done. You were given the task to take charge of your own education and find ways to teach yourselves when changes happened literally overnight. You were asked to figure it out when quite often and quite honestly, the educators were trying to do so at the exact same moment in time. You were given tremendous flexibility in time and space to learn the way you wanted to, to complete work or not, to make your own adult decisions. And without a doubt, we can sit here today and say that you completely rocked it. So for that, give yourselves a pat on the back. What is amazing is that you did all of this during a historic time in our country and in our world. You did it at the intersection of a public fear of global pandemic and a social outcry for justice and change. Where some classes can remember the birth or invention of less important new terms like Wi-Fi or selfie or social media, you were surrounded by changing ideas like social distancing, PPE, I can't breathe and say their names. You may not realize it now, but 2020 is a year that you will tell your grandchildren about the way war veterans of the 1920s and 40s and activists of the 1960s talk about with their families. And somehow you found a way to balance it all. You engaged in academic work. You met and exceeded all expectations. You strengthened and shared your voices for racial equality. And you literally led our school community in difficult conversations about accepting historical injustice while citing the lack of change in today's world. You comforted each other and often our adult staff. Yeah. You became the change yes, that you wanted to see. So where does this leave you, class of 2020? This I can say. You are academically ready to succeed in college and the workplace. You are socially aware and empowered to right the wrongs in our communities. And you continue to fight for those who have marginalized voices. So here is our hopes and our dreams for you, the class of 2020. First, 
Continue your quest for education and self-improvement. Whether you find yourself in college or joining the workforce, always strive to be the best version of yourself that you can be. Take constructive criticism well and find ways to continue to grow intellectually, always. Learning never ends. Second, continue the fight against injustice. Never stop as long as there are inequalities in the world. The system is not just broken in the realms of policing and the workplace racism. Injustice also deeply impacts American education, our neighborhoods, our national media, and access to resources, and how it is decided who holds the power in our cities, our states, and our nation. So keep writing, keep sharing, keep chanting, and keep marching for change. Finally, and I believe this wholeheartedly and say this every year, love your family and your friends deeply and unconditionally. Always take a slow and clear look at the people you surround yourself with. Real friends are not those who click a button or post a like. Real friends are those who never put you down, never offer criticism without suggestions for improvement. Real friends are there next to you when you need it. They are there in the good times and they are there in the bad times. And always remember that family is the most important thing in our lives. It remains the greatest investment that you can make, both your current family and the ones that you will start in the years to come. Love them, be there for them, and always tell them how much you appreciate the sacrifices they have made for you. So to the class of 2020, we are so proud of you. Stay fierce, stay unsatisfied, stay amazing. HSPS will be your home always and forever, waiting for you with open arms and good luck. Let's go class of 2020, we love you. Thank you, Mr. Rice. All right, at this time, um, it is with great pleasure that I introduce to you this year's salutatorian. Uh, the salutatorian is the student with the second highest academic average in over the course of the entire four years. Um, as our graduates know, with mastery work, exams, service hour requirements, that's no easy feat. Add to that being an all-American wrestler, and you know this is an accomplishment. So please welcome the the recorded speech from our salutatorian, Joanna Jones. Hi everyone, it's your salutatorian here, Joanna Jones, speaking to you live from Brooklyn, New York. First off, I wanna say congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm extremely proud of each and every single one of you. We've been through hell and back with each other from masteries, the merits, arguments, and even a whole global pandemic, but we managed to be here today. I'm not gonna sit here and dwell on the fact that we missed out on our last few months of senior year and how I wasted so much money on my prom dress, we would have slayed though, period. Rather, I'm gonna focus on the memories and the growth we've acquired during these last four years in this one hallway we call a high school. Freshman year of HSPS was a huge transition for all of us. It took some time, but eventually we were able to adapt and maneuver in this new environment, transforming into the great minds and young adults that we are today. Nothing about high school was easy, from going through six to, to 10 hours without our phones in the 21st century, dealing with security and scanning and pulling all-nighters, we were able to prevail through the help of our loving advisors, our teachers, coaches, friends, and family. Prior to HSPS, I didn't know who I was, what I cared about, what's my purpose, but through the experiences this school has provided, a lot of us, including myself, was able to self-evaluate and establish what we want for our future selves. Thank you to those who made this all possible. Thank you, Ms. Miller, for letting us in, even though you locked the office doors. Thank you for my G Black Nefs, and thank you for being there to answer our countless numbers of questions, even though you most likely answered those questions in emails that we never read. Thank you, Mr. Zanish, for designating the first few months of, of class to college readiness. Thank you for providing prodigy insight and being there 24 seven whenever we need. And most importantly, thank you for inspiring our intellectual curiosity. Thank you, Mr. Rice, our teachers and faculties for making the HSPS community special, for making us laugh, for listening to us in times of need, 
for feeding us. You know I'm talking to you, T-Pain. And simply thank you for everything. Shout out to my advisory, Sasha's gang. Best advisory out here. Sorry, but it's the truth. Miss Sasha, being the loving, unapologetic, slightly frightening, fearless mama force that she is, make sure every single day for the past four years that we were doing our utmost best. And for that, I'm forever grateful. Thank you to my amazing friends who've been through with me through all the highs and the lows. Thank you to all my coaches for seeing my potential when I was blind, for pushing me past my limits when I thought I wasn't capable, for keeping me on my A-game, especially during quarantine, because you know those home-cooked meals, bless. And most importantly, thank you to my rock, my greatest foundation, my family. Thank you for believing me and for supporting me and for guiding me through these last years from the very beginning in my academic career, eight more years to go. Whether you're taking a gap year, going to trade school, becoming a dancer, going to college, or simply just going wherever the wind takes, up, takes you, us HSPS students are destined for greatness. We have that hero of tomorrow mentality from the day we were selected to this school. And with that being said, the best is yet to come. I love you all. Good luck on your future endeavors and congratulations to the class of 2020. Right. Thank you, Joanna, and congratulations. Um, so this year, our keynote speaker was born in Brooklyn to Costa Rican immigrant par parents, attended Brooklyn Tech before going on to bachelor's and master's degrees from uh, New York University, and eventually his JD um, from Cornell Law School. Even prior to law school, his commitment to public service and social justice was unparalleled. In 2018, he became the New York State Senator for the 20th District of New York. Um, and with that, a short prepared statement from our state Senator, Senator Zelnor Myrie. Hi, I'm State Senator Zelnor Myrie, and I have the honor of representing Crown Heights, Prospect Leopards Gardens, East Flatbush, Brownsville, Prospect Heights, Park Slope, South Slope, Gowanus, and Sunset Park in the State Senate. I wanted to take some time to personally tell the graduates and class of 2020, congratulations on behalf of our entire district. You've worked so hard to get to this day, so take a breath, Exhale and enjoy your accomplishment. Also take a moment to thank your family because you couldn't have done this without them. You are in a historic class of graduates. Over the past few months, school has looked very different for you as you've had to adjust to learning at home and being away from your teachers and friends at school. The world has also looked very different. COVID-19 put everything on pause and it was a sad time for many New Yorkers who lost people close to them. But you've also been able to see the world change right before your eyes. In the last three weeks alone, you've seen people of every race and age take to the streets, stand up for Black lives, and call for racial equality. And that movement has been led by young people like you. So even though we don't get to celebrate this major milestone with you in person, we know that our world is in good hands with you. You've studied Rosa Parks, you've studied Martin Luther King, but now it's your turn to make history. And I'm not just saying that, I've been able to live it. My parents came from another country and raised me in the same neighborhoods that you live in today. My mom sent me to public schools in this community and I was fortunate to go to college, grad school, and eventually an Ivy League law school based on the education I got right here in Brooklyn. Two years ago, I ran for the state Senate and became one of the youngest state senators in the entire state. And since then, I've been fighting for, for, for more money in our schools, more affordable housing, and opportunities for immigrants. Just last week, after I joined the protest, I was able to go up to Albany and pass laws that will change policing in the state of New York forever. So yes, now is the time to change the world. As you graduate today, don't forget, be the change you wanna see. We're all counting on you, and you don't have to wait 20 years to do it. 
you can do it right now. So yes, there are future doctors and lawyers and nurses and teachers in your class, but there are also future activists, future civil rights leaders, future state senators, and future presidents in the class of 2020. We will be behind you every step of the way and cannot wait to see you get there. So to the class of 2020, congratulations on your graduation and see you in person soon. All right. Thanks to the Senator. Um, as I said earlier today, we are celebrating achievement and accomplishments. Um, and with that, normally we would have our full awards um, section of the program now. Instead, what we're going to have to do is just do a quick few slides to honor those receiving awards. You will be getting your certificates. Ms. Miller can attest to that. Um, first up though, we need to take a moment to um, celebrate a particular group of our staff that were really instrumental in this group getting to where they are. And that is our senior advisors this year. Mr. Dalio, Mr. Galbraith, Mr. Harris, Mr. Kawaja, Ms. Rachel, Ms. Miller, Sasha, and Ms. Reed. So congratulations to all of you. Be ready for a ninth grade advisory in the fall. Um, in terms of our awards, we have a number of awards coming from a different sources from the Attorney General, Letitia James, awards going to Sanaya Buchanan, Brianna Penn, Christina Penn, the Cooperation in Government Certificate presented to Rebecca Jean Lewis and Julissa Mendoza, the Richard Welling Certificate going to Osi Ba, Then the Chancellor's role of honor citations. The Leadership Awards this year are going to Sanaya Buchanan and Janava Sao. The Sports Awards going to Flora Acosa, Naomi Henry, Justin Harmon, Joanna Jones. The Arts Awards being presented to Ashanti Alston, Rebecca Jean-Louis, and Charnel Polidor. The Attendance Awards being presented to Rihanna Dix, Abigail Logan, and Alvin Liu. The Hackett Certificate for Oratory, speaking in both arts and in advocacy, goes to Raynell Forster. The CSA Student Leadership Certificate is presented to Lori Besson. The AFSA Student Leadership Certificate to Shanti White. And the CSA Parent Leadership Certificate to a parent that we will most heartily miss, um, Ms. Natalie Elaine. A few scholarships, uh, the New York State Higher Education Academic Excellence Scholarships going to Tia Gay Dunkley, Joanna Jones, Christina Patton, Alvin Liu, and two recipients of the UFT's Albert Shanker Scholarship this year, Brianna and Christina Panton. Congratulations, everyone. You won't read out the members of our National Honor Society. There are many. So congratulations to all of you for maintaining an 85 or higher average over the course of four challenging years. Additionally, the Archon Community Service Society. Um, service was a challenge, especially this year, but you all have over the four years really embraced the true meaning of public service. So thank you all for your contributions. And there are a lot of you who contributed. We also recognize those who completed our medical academy including those who completed the Arthur Ashe medical program as well, taking classes with 
the medical school at SUNY Downstate. And that is our awards presentation. So, um, and if we're talking about achievement and accomplishments, it is time now to honor a truly, truly exceptional student, our valedictorian. <laughs> um, I don't even know where to begin and what to say. This student's ridiculous level of achievement academically um, didn't come naturally, it came through hard work. So that hard work more than paid off. So I turn you to our valedictorian. Uh, sorry, there's the technical glitch I was talking about. Um, Tia Gay Dunkley. Not Joanna. Not, there we go. Apologies. It was going so well. All right. Good afternoon, teachers, families, guests, and fellow graduates. Class of 2020, we made it. Today, we come to celebrate the end of our high school career. But before we begin, I would like to thank God for giving me the health and strength to be able to speak to you all today. And secondly, I would like to thank the staff of HSPS for working vigorously with me throughout the years so that I would be able to earn this position today. Let us take a moment to reflect on all the fun times we've had at the High School for Public Service, such as the advisory and other trips we embarked on, field day, March Madness, and the many parties that were held in the cafeteria. A few months ago, some of our main challenges in high school were having to get to school on time, having to hear nothing over HSPS constantly throughout the day, having to complete all the math work given to us, and let's not talk about navigating our way through that extremely huge hallway. But in a blink of an eye, those normalities of our lives were quickly stripped away from us. Now, I am aware they once posed a challenge as many of us endured several sleepless nights in hopes to complete one or a couple assignments in time and were completely drained emotionally and physically when we were expected to take any final exams and or AP exams as well. However, as we learn to get by it with a mindset that this will continue to be our lives until the end of high school, we were quickly introduced to a bigger challenge that not only affected us, but affected the world around us. The coronavirus pandemic soon took its unwanted place in our lives and took away many of our loved ones. My condolences to anyone who were affected in this way. And we were faced with the decision to accept another way of life we were not accustomed to. The end of our senior year together was taken away from us. The end of our high school careers. We weren't able to indulge in many different fun and games, but I'm here to remind you all that we have come far. As the world continued to spiral downwards and as the nation confronts its many racial injustices, we stood together as a class, spoke out against these injustices on our social media platforms and some even participated in marches and protests. As a class, we united and we became each other's strength. Although we weren't able to experience everything that the other graduating classes before us experienced as a senior, we achieved much more. We're able to stand here today and remind the other graduating classes that at a time when the world seemed to quickly tear apart around us, we stood firm, adapted, and we are all here today to celebrate that resilience that existed within us. Although there might have been times we may have felt depressed or worried about everything that is happening in today's society, we, the class of 2020, executed perseverance and we saw to it that we completed our year no matter the circumstances. 
On behalf of my fellow graduates, I would like to take this opportunity to say thanks once again to our principal, parents, and all of our teachers for their support, love, time, and patience throughout these challenging times. A special thank you to our guidance counselor, Mrs. Miller, for always going the extra mile to ensure that all of our individual needs are met regarding college preparation and for constantly being there for us whenever we needed you most. As we embark on a different phase of our lives, I pray that God will continue to see us through. If we were able to accomplish all this and more in a society that changed in such a short period of time, I have no doubt that we will continue to accomplish many more in the near future. As we depart, may we remember that with Christ in the vessel, we can smile at the storm. May God continue to bless you all. Thank you. And thank you, Tia, for everything over the four years. All right, we're gonna actually try something here. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but this is the point in the program where we, we have our graduates take responsibility and take a pledge to their lives after public service. So if I could ask all of the graduates to unmute themselves for a moment and, and ask you to repeat after me. As we're able here. Who knows what's going to happen, but we're going to at least try it, right? Okay. So everyone, please repeat after me, everybody. Brand new to my school. What are we repeating? What are we repeating? Okay, the repeating isn't going to work, it seems. All right, so we will skip the pledge. That's okay. Actually, you can repeat them at home here. We'll do the pledge anyway. So repeat after me. With gratitude to my school. With pride in my community. And with the ability and determination to take action, I pledge as a graduate to cherish the traditions of the High School for Public Service. As a New Yorker, to work both alone and with others to improve my community. And as a citizen of the world, to stand up for equal rights and justice wherever I may go. Okay, there are a couple of people, I'm sorry, with the panelists, like the, the, the attendees, the panelist thing, are the panelist room is full at this point. So we're gonna do what we can. But anyway, it is now time for the moment everybody has been sort of waiting for. <laughs> the presentation of the graduates. Um, Ms. Miller has prepared a slideshow Please forgive me if I butcher your name. I asked for the updates, not everybody got them to me. We're gonna do what we can here. So I apologize in advance. And with that, give me just a moment. Ashanti Alston
Deandra Anderson. Tammy Topi Badmos. Lucy Pa. Jaden Barnes. Folks, please mute yourselves. Jamie Bastardo. Carlene Beckles. Sydney, can you please remove yourself? Demarcia. When everyone comes up, everyone could please mute yourself. Demarcia, mute, mute it, mute it, mute it. Are you sending me more? No, no, he said. Jada Bass. So repeat after me. With gratitude. Sydney, please mute yourself. Lori Bassan. With the ability and determination to take action, I pledge as a graduate. Mahela Blair. Oh. The traditions. Samaj Bolden. Holly Bonner. Elijah Bridgman. Sanaya Buchanan. Treasure Butler. Jordan Carr. Rihanna Cadogan. Tamia Collymore. Louis Kosanatan. And Bria Cunningham. Chris Love de Grange. Derby Desir. Serena Desome. Sorry, Serena. Erno Diallo. Brianna Diaz. Brianna Dix. Tia Gay Dunkley. Danique Edwards. Ashley Egad. Jane Ejogu. Shazad Farouk. Blaine Fergus. Kiara Fisher.
Raynell Forrester. Yesenia Gallardo. Brianna Garcia. Tamara George. Rigoberto Hermosen. Kakara Glasgow. Caitlin Gordon. Rihanna Gray. Kamani Hall. Jaden Harmon. Justin Harmon. Naomi Henry. Ethan Holder. Jatara Jackson. Rebecca Jean Louis. Jean Louis. Shania Johnson. Joanna Jones. Anisha King. Selena Lambert. Howard Largy. Tiana Lane. Badir Lasson. Abigail Logan. Marvelis Lopez. Alvin Liu. Khalil Little. Kimberly Maddie. Pierrette Marriott. Charisma Martin. Taina Martin. Tajay Maycock. Jalissa Mendoza. Tanilla Mitchell. Marco Antonio Morales. Rache Morrison. Trevon Myers. Demarcia Ned Artis. Angel Ortiz. Shailen Pacheco. Brianna Panton. Christina Panton.
Charnel Polidor. Tajay Powell. Brianna Kwashi. Tatiana Rebel. Dijanae Ratre. Olivia Roberts. Sydney Roman. Anaya Rosalie. Patrice Secor. Emmanuel Saint Eloy. Thomas Sandoval. Amna Sarwar. Sanjeev Sipal. Sheldon Short. Delano Smith. Janaba So. Marlon Stewart. Miriam Tarik. Kimberly Toshki. Elias Vergara. Shanti White. Kiana Williams. And Nicholas Woodruff. Okay, if everybody wants to unmute for a moment, let's hear it for the class of 2020 before. Uh You get to cheer again in a minute because it's not official. It's not official until Mr. Rice formally officially declares you graduate. So, Mr. Rice. Tamar! As the principal of the. Sorry, Mr. Rice, if you can unmute yourself. Yeah, one more time. There we go. Woo! Okay. Okay. As the principal of. Hear me? Yep. All right. As the principal of the High School for Public Service, and by the virtue of the authority granted me by the Board of Regents and the State of New York and the Department of Education, the City of New York, and by certification of the faculty of the High School for Public Service, I hereby declare that all the candidates for graduation who have met the requirements for graduation as outlined by the State of New York and the City are hereby declared graduates of the High School for Public Service. And now, unmute yourselves. Congratulations, everybody. Yeah.
everybody for attending. I couldn't imagine, a, well, I can definitely imagine a better 50th birthday, but it is such a pleasure teaching you all for the past year. Good luck, everyone. We'll leave it on for a minute or so for y'all to scream, and then Bye we'll be closing birthday. things out. Best for everyone. Happy birthday. 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 Oh, I'm going to miss you all. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, it's like, where can I get my stuff off the locker? Yeah, I have a lot of stuff in my locker. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff to get my clothes off. Miss y'all. For I'm going to miss you, T Pain. I'm going to miss y'all, all right? Bye, you will drink. I'm going to you guys. All right, now it's time to go to the I'm going to cry. 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 Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. And also, I'm also going to see the I'm going to see the the I'm going to see the news. I'm going to see the news. I'm going to see the news. I'm going Oh, oh, I need it, man. I'm so happy. I cannot believe this. You saw you saw the certificate, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
Did everybody going to end the meeting? Good luck. Be well. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.